Hey, this is Joe with Joe Intel, and today this is just gonna be a quick video about some speakers that I made for my sister. So my sister wanted some speakers for her room. Right now she's currently using like an Amazon Echo, and I figured that she kind of deserves something better than that. She wanted something for her bedroom, and so I decided to put something together for her. So the speaker I designed is different in many ways compared to some of the other speakers that you might see. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to share it with you guys. So she doesn't have a ton of space in her room. So I decided that instead of a typical bookshelf speaker or some bookshelves on stands it would also take up about the same amount of space as those towers. So I figured that I'd make her some speakers that would actually hang on the wall like a painting. So the box that I made is three inches deep by eight and a half inches wide by 20 inches tall. Looking back on it, I could have made it a little bit thinner, but maybe next time. If anybody's interested in the designs for this, I'm gonna have it on my Patreon and I'll just make it a minimum of a dollar or something like that. And you'll be able to download the specific cuts and dimensions for this box. The cool thing about this is because it's meant to hang on the wall, the wall actually acts as an extended baffle, which helps with bass response, things like that. The other thing that's important to me is I like my speakers to hit low. So this has a theoretical bass extension, an F3 of 48 Hertz, which is pretty good considering that the driver on this is a three and a half inch driver. Because the box is small and it goes relatively deep, the thing that you do sacrifice is that it doesn't play extremely loud, which is okay because it is for use in a bedroom. About that driver I was talking about, it's called a BMR driver, which stands for Balance Mode Radiator. And that's a lot different from other speakers that you typically see. Most speakers are supposed to work in a pistonic manner, meaning they're supposed to move in and out without flexing. Typically, any of the flex that you see in a cone is something that is undesirable. With this design though, they've actually designed the cone to bend in order to produce some of the higher frequencies, which is amazing. So I think that you might see more of these in the near future because they are really cool. One advantage with this design is that I didn't need to use a crossover because it runs full range. If you look at the specs, there is a dip around 2K, which is not the greatest, but a lot of speakers exhibit that same behavior because of the crossover anyway. The other thing that I was really impressed with on these speakers is for some reason they have a really good off axis response, which is very desirable, especially when it comes to stereo imaging. So what I've noticed is I'm able to move around and not necessarily be in the sweet spot and it still sounds good and there's not a huge change in tonality. So that's something I was really amazed about. In addition, I told you what the theoretical low frequency extension was, which is 48 Hertz. And to my ears, it does a good job of hitting those notes. I do hear the bass and it's pretty amazing considering the size of this. It does look a little different with the driver being flat and it has a pretty nice and beefy surround and also a nice beefy magnet. And so because my sister mainly listens to her music with the Amazon Echo, I wanted to make sure that this was self-powered and Bluetooth so that she'd be able to connect the Echo to the speaker. She also has a TV in her room. It has an RC output, so I wanted to be able to use that. I don't have all these tools at my house. I actually have them at my wife's parents' house. So I had a friend do all the cuts for me. If you're wondering why I don't have video of that, it's because they were already pre-cut and I had already glued them prior to making this video. So forgive me if the footage is not really up to par. It's just that I had brought my tripod to do all this and I forgot my mounting plate. There are some weird angles. I kind of have to just place the camera wherever it wouldn't fall over. So here's some of the parts that I used. I used the Tectonic 3.5 inch BMR driver from Parts Express. And these drivers are $14.39 right now. So you need two of those. I use the Lapai LP40 PA Bluetooth plate amp, which is $36 right now. I use some speaker grill cloth that I got from Parts Express, as well as some terminals and some VNS spray adhesive. All right, so I have them all put together. Everything's working. Let's do some quick sound demos. This first one's for you, Tim Wilson.
There you have some quick sound demos. Now that's not optimal at all. I actually had them placed on the floor because I didn't want to hang them up. And right now I do have them hanging up here, but uh, they're kind of spaced far apart for the mic that I'm using. So I thought that it would be better to just place them low and uh, get an idea what the sound was from there. I did some quick measurements and you can tell that they're not even close to a flat measurement. But for some reason, they don't sound as bad as they look on this frequency response chart. I'm not exactly sure why that is, but I'm guessing that somehow it's balanced. Even though there are some pretty crazy dips in there, uh, it does balance it out in the highs. This speaker hits lows that it should definitely not be able to hit. Now I should say that it can't do that extremely loudly, but good enough for the room that it's gonna be in. That's it, the only thing left to do is to have my sister take a listen to them. So she'll be here in a while and I'm gonna see what her reaction is. Hopefully it's good. All right, so I'll just play some songs right here. All right. Damn. Something in the sun, all the earth. Wow. All right, so you watch nice. it. Nice. Here's, here's an oldie but goodie. Okay. Know this one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> we live and direct. They sound bigger than they are. Yeah. You can see the speaker. Right. You can hear the panning really Look well. Look how big this room is. Yeah. In your room, it's going to be like. Right. It's smaller than this. Wow. So uh, clear. Ooh, shit. Oh. Damn. Sound good in the this room. This sounds, or what? yeah, it sounds dope. Wow. I'm so impressed. Yeah. It's awesome. Wow. The speaker's the size of like a credit card. Oh, really? Card For real? Like so it sounds like that because of the, the box that it's in, or like why does it sound Partially bigger? Partially that, but that, but also the um the box, but also the type of speaker it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a special type of speaker. Okay. But um, yeah, it sounds pretty cool. It right? sounds dope. I mean, the, the the fact that they sound so so much bigger than they are. Yeah. How That's... about how about the bass? How does it sound? The bass. I mean, it's everything sounds really full, right? So the the bass sounds really clear, but the treble also sounds really clear. So you can hear the separation between. I mean, that's probably not the right term. Does it slap or what? It slaps. Slap. I have to say, it slaps. It slaps. There you go. I that's the, what they're called. The the, the little slappers. That's these are slappers. Called. That's what's up. I looked at the camera when I said that. Just yeah, I'm looking at the camera too. <laughs> you're, make you're sure you know. Those are slappers. That's what's up. Make sure you know. There you go. BMR drivers. So I'm gonna leave a link to these products and the other products that I mentioned in this video down below. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. So that's it, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell, you know what to do. Anyway, take care, bye bye. All right, this is for Tim Wilson. Show me.
fucking